Hello, this is Dr. Anastasia Choplis, the Scientific Healer, and today I'd like to introduce my topic, Amplifying Your Energy Healing Gifts with Vibrational Physics. So really, this is a story of going from physics to metaphysics. For years, I was a physics professor and international researcher, and I studied the vibrations and energetics of condensed matter. And things started to switch about 20 years ago when I became very ill. And one of the things that I learned was that energy healing was very effective and helped get me well. And what I'd like to introduce today is, uh, in my talk, are three things. The fundamentals of vibrational physics that apply to the energy healing world. Some concrete examples of applying simple physical concepts to the ancient art of energy healing and how these can amplify the results. And I have several case studies demonstrating the efficiency of these techniques. And the reason why I show this crystal here is that when I look at an object such as this peridot crystal, which is a beautiful gemstone, as I don't always just see the gemstone, but I also imagine it to be a series of atoms that are connected together with springs, things that, that act like springs, and each of those springs produce a vibration. And that's how we are in our bodies just as well. So in vibrational physics, we already know that everything is energy, and if it's energy, it is directly proportional to its frequency. So the frequency is basically equivalent to saying that it has a certain amount of energy. And um, in vibrational physics, the rules determine the result of two waves interacting with one another or a wave and matter interacting. And often um, this will improve healing, and I will demonstrate it in, in my talk. And in, um, we also look at the rules of resonance and overtones because it has a big effect on how we store certain energies in our bodies, such as emotions. And our vibrational physics defines all the vibrations that can be in an ensemble. We don't have just a single vibration because we're composed of so many different kinds of atoms and so many different kinds of bonds. We have a whole array of vibrations. And what we do is when we sum them up, we use a statistical program to deduce the total energy, and it can be precisely determined. And from that energy, we can determine a characteristic frequency, and that tells us a lot about energy healing. And in my talk, I will also uh, show ve some very specific examples of amplified results such as the diurnal secretion of hormones, and that is a wave that's interacting with the hormone secretion. And I will show that in, uh, very briefly in just a moment. And some of the other things that I demonstrate are the blocking of harmful energies by using a filtering technique, whether it is a physical filter or a filter that we intend. And I also look at the resonance and overtones for removing low energy emotions or blocks, and that improves healing dramatically. And I also show the application of Wien's Law to the energy body of human. And what Wien's Law says is that the higher your energy is, the shorter your wavelength or the higher your frequency is, and the brighter you glow. And this actually is an exponential relationship. And lastly, I show how to arrive at a characteristic energy or frequency and how we can raise it. And so the one thing that I will show very briefly is that periodic functions of the, of the body, the diurnal ebb and flow of secretions, and in this case I show the pineal gland, which is in the center part of the brain, and the pineal gland regulates melatonin. And when we apply a wave, um, superimpose a wave function on top of its secretions, we end up with an improved sleep, improved sleep pattern. And so I will talk about that in detail during my talk. And I look forward to presenting the rest of this seminar to you. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Anastasia Chabalos.